our family CSR venture is captured under the vision of eight spheres of spiritual governance, otherwise known with the acronym SHEMBAG, which covers social, healthcare, education, media, business and economy, arts, culture, and entertainment and government, and politics. Take, for instance, the ultra-modern hospital Healing Stripes Dialysis and Diagnostic Center. This hospital has attended to over 12,000 patients at subsidized costs, irrespective of religion or tribe. Still, it gives 30 free dialysis sessions every month and has carried out 2,900 dialyses since officially opened in 2013. This project has taken about 500 million naira. A Papa family also takes Medicare to the downtrodden at the back streets and the slums. A Rise Women's Conference, founded by Pastor Shiju Liomade, has three mobile clinics valued at about 100 million naira, and with this, they set up quarterly care clinics in remote places like Makoko, Elijah, Aja, and Oshodi, among others. In these places, a Rise gives free medical screening in the areas of HIV, I cervical cancer, sugar level and blood pressure tests for thousands of people on the lower rung of the ladder, while over 5,000 women have been impacted through free trainings and workshops. The Mercy Ship International is the floating ship that provides surgical intervention for people with facial tumors, goiter, thyroid and other cases free of charge courtesy Apapa family. There is also the Poverty Alleviation Program. Every Sunday, Papa family members take a walk into the streets to cook and feed about 60,000 people that inhabit the sidewalks of the streets. This program, called A Can Can Make a Difference, has delivered over 400 million packs of food in the last 10 years and with about 682 million naira expended on this program, especially in the last five years. Papa family has thus far expended about 2.5 billion naira just so that those weak, vulnerable people that the tragedies of life have left destitute may enjoy one decent meal in a week. In education, a Papa family's soulful spirit and passion for charity are palpable. The touch in tomorrow education endowment for the orphaned disadvantaged children and families with low income, which has been funded to the tune of 100 million naira, has assured access to education in primary, secondary and tertiary institutions for this group. About 350 families have benefited from this fund. And deep inside Makoko, the slums of Lagos, the Apapa family has a school it built, feeds and clothes the pupils. This feat is repeated all over the country, including Okuzu in Anambra State. Now, this Bible-believing family of RCCG has embarked on a mission to equip the libraries of 500 primary schools in Lagos and has already completed 350. A Papa family also has the Riverbank Nursery and Primary School in Oniru, Victoria Island, and the Redeemers International School, and also the Redeemers International Secondary School in Lagos while capping this educational mission with the 300 million naira endowment of professorial chairs in four Nigerian universities for the general overseer. This RCCG Humane Group also penetrates the walls and thick bars of prisons to provide spiritual and material support for inmates, giving foodstuffs, paying for GCE and school fees for those enrolled in the National Open University of Nigeria. To these men and women seemingly shut out from the promises of Nigeria, a papa family is telling that they could still fulfill their destiny, equipped with education and certificates to explore a new life materially and spiritually. In sports, the Apapa family is raising men and women and children that showcase a spirit of excellence and profiles in courage. Their young female professional football team, the Amazons, were the 2015-2016 Nigeria FA Cup champions. While the male team, COD United, affiliated to Bolton United of England, 
now have working relationships with Bournemouth Football Club in the English Premier League, the EPL. Still in the spirit of good works, the Apapa family installed 40 solar-powered lights in Kirikiri, Navy Town Road, and another set of solar-powered lights in nine streets in Akala, Mushi, plus traffic lights on COD Road, Oniru, Victoria Island, all in Lagos. The sole prickling issue of drug addiction occupies a primal place in the heart of Apapa family. That's why they set up the Wellspring Rehabilitation Center and the House of Hope in Surulere, Lagos. Willing addicts are settled here as full-time residents. With prayers, counseling and Medicare, they are rehabilitated and reintegrated into society to restart and re-engineer their lives once again. In media and entertainment, the Apapa family sees a rare opportunity not only to subtly celebrate God through this medium, but to lend an articulate voice and accent to the call for the right values. With over 682 million naira spent on production and television airtime costs for their award-winning inspirational soap operas, Heaven's Gate and Oasis, and another 400 million naira expended on the sensational GCGT, God's Children Great Talent. The Apapa family made an inspiring statement about utilizing these glowing symbols of art and culture to bring out the values of creativity, fellowship, discipline, fun, godliness and integrity. The record label, Excel Records, was set up as a platform to grow and produce new talents in the genre of gospel music, to extend the frontiers of God's kingdom using music. For hospitality purposes, the Apapa family keeps and maintains an international standard guest house in Victoria Island, Lagos, for its local and international guests, and indeed, guests of affiliate ministries, to ensure a comfortable and serene atmosphere for their spiritual work. Despite the massive spread of its corporate social responsibility, the Apapa family still pays an unshaken and passionate attention to its core responsibility of winning souls for the expansion of God's kingdom on earth. Apart from the activities of the various parishes in this regard, this RCCG amazing team has set up local and international missions for the sole purpose of propagating of the gospel of Christ. And to date, it has about 70 local and international missions, spending over 98 million naira annually on these missions. In the Philippines alone, the Apapa family has planted 26 parishes, heralding a grey light of a new dawn in these places. Today, Apapa family has a global presence, existing in virtually all the continents of the world. On the political scene, Apapa family now has a vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, two executive governors, one from Lagos State, and the other from Akwa Ibom State, while more are still in the executive, legislative and judiciary arms of the Nigerian government, in addition to many captains of industry in the marketplace. This perhaps explains why a Papa family runs the program Faith and Politics, a town hall meeting. No question the story of the Apapa family, the growth, the spread, the passion of the members can only be summarized in one phrase, God at work.